That makes, girl, I just seen this guy. No, he's so fine. No, I'm not gonna say nothing to him, I'm a girl. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll say it, I'll say something, all right. Hey, how you doing? Girl, you made me look so dumb. I just tried to say something to him. I smiled, I did all that. Never shoot my shot ever. So do you gents want to learn how to get more choosing signals from women? Well, you came to the right place. This is Gentleman and Scholars where we discuss dating style and personal development. So if you're into becoming a better version of yourself, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So for today's topic, we're going over real life choosing signals, examples from females. So, you know, we'll break down a real life experience and, you know, I'll share, you know, what the choosing signals were, how I was able to spot them, you know, how I handled that particular situation. So it's definitely something that you're going to want to tune into. So definitely make sure you stick around until the end. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first and foremost, what are choosing signals? Well, choosing signals, these are indicators of interest that women send out to men. And this really is designed to show their level of interest towards that particular person. You know, um, one sign might not be, you know, an indicator of much of anything. So I do want to caveat that. But really the idea here is that you want to be looking for clusters. So what I mean by clusters is, you know, you see several signs in succession and this will give you confidence that she is in fact interested in you. So, you know, if you see extended eye contact, for instance, accompanied by, you know, a big bright smile um, and then maybe she blushes, this can give you confidence that she is in fact interested in you. And then at that point, you can feel confident and able to make that approach and, you know, feel good about that, you know, that you'll be successful in that. So definitely something to be keen on, definitely something to pay attention to. And you always want to be honing your skills in terms of being able to gauge women's interest because this is going to give you the best opportunity to perfect your game and really the best opportunity for success you know when you guys see those guys that are just flawless with women and you know you think oh man like all the girls love this guy a lot of times it's not that they all love him it's the fact that he's keen on the signs he's you know adept in being able to see those uh, signals that women are sending out uh, to different men and particularly sending out to him so he's able to spot that, know what it is right away and immediately make a confident approach. And really that's the idea. Um, you know, when you hesitate, when you think too hard about it um, and you know, maybe you're just not that keen on the signs and you know, you're really trying to decode what's going on. A lot of times you'll miss that moment. Um, so it's really advantageous to be able to spot things quickly and then make a decision right then and there. So, you know, without further ado, I'll go ahead and jump into a real life example. And this will kind of put things in perspective and hopefully contextualize things for you all. So on this particular night, you know, my buddy, he had reached out to me and said, hey, you wanna go out, you know, have a night on the town. So we ended up going out to this one spot that he recommended in the city. So it's one of those spots that kind of just started getting popular. So point being, I hadn't really been there before, but you know, he recommended it. He said it was a good spot. So I'm like, all right, we'll go out and we'll, we'll see what's going on. So, you know, we ended up going to this spot. Everything's cool. We get in, you know, we grab a few drinks. I'm not gonna lie, the drinks were a little bit overpriced, but you know, we're just scoping out the scene. The music was okay. So, you know, we're just seeing what's out there. And, you know, um, the selection was, you know, okay. Um, to be completely honest, the vast majority of the people in there were not my particular taste, but they were definitely my friend's taste. So, you know, I was happy for him. He was able to do his thing that night, which is great. Um, but, you know, while we're hanging out, while we're scoping out the scene, I end up seeing these two women walk in. And, you know, there's a one really short, uh, but really attractive woman that's walking with this other girl. And they seem to be walking really fast throughout the bar. 
So, you know, I spot them, you know, I'm kind of keeping my eye on that situation, but they're, you know, kind of walking really fast. So, you know, there wasn't much of an opportunity to go make an approach right then and there because, you know, every time I see them, they're walking around, they hadn't settled into one particular space yet. So, you know, I'm doing my thing, just sipping my drink, dancing a little bit to the music, just having a really good time and, uh, you know, hanging out with my guys. And really that should be the number one thing for you all is when you're out, you know, you shouldn't be super uh, in that thirsty um, scarcity mindset. You wanna make sure that you're in a place where you're having a great time with your friends, with the people that you came with, that you know, you're able to have a good time, even if you have no interactions with any girls that night. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars family and consider checking out the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for free resources, Gentlemen and Scholars merch, book recommendations, consultation services, and our free Gentlemen and Scholars Ultimate Handbook. Well, you'll learn personal development tips on how to build a successful life and become the gentleman of your dreams, style tips to develop an eye-catching, attractive, and unique personal avatar, and dating tips to attract, court, and keep the woman of your dreams. Visit the Gentlemen and Scholars Club website for more. Now back to the video. Point being is that you want to be in that space where you can have a good time all by yourself, just hanging out with your guys and just catching up, having drinks, and dancing a little bit. And you know, what this does is this gives off a non-scarcity vibe and also presents you all as, you know, people that are safe. You know, you're having a really good time, you know, you're just chilling with your friends and more than likely you'll find that other people tend to gravitate to you. You know, you'll find that the club or the bar, they'll start gravitating over to where you guys are because, you know, then you become like the life of the party if you're having a really good time with your friends. So, you know, I've seen this happen countless times, uh, time and time again. So it's something definitely that you want to pay attention to, but can definitely be advantageous for your gaming as well. Because, you know, if women see that you're having a great time, and then maybe some women, they start to hover over closer to you all. And maybe they're not even that attractive, right? But, you know, you guys start having fun with them and just kind of dancing around, just, just chilling, just having a good time you'll often find that then the cute girls, they start hovering closer and closer to you all as well. And then that's how you can, you know, turn a more mundane night into a really great night and, and create an opportunity for something to happen with that particular cute woman that you may have been eyeing. But anyway, you know, we get to the end of the night, um, you know, there wasn't really an opportunity to talk to that particular uh, short woman that I had my eye on. And at this point, I'm just waiting for the guys to grab their Ubers, and you know grab the transportation you know just making sure everybody gets home safe so i'm just sitting down right outside the bar and then lo and behold she walks right by and then she kind of gives me that glance um you know just staring me deep in the eyes as she's walking by so at that point i just you know stick my hand out i'm like hey you know i had to meet you like you're stunning you know what's your name so she gives me her name and you know we get to chatting a little bit but you know she said something that kind of uh threw me for a loop she ended up you know asking me hey like what do you do i told her what i do and then you know i'm like asking her now like hey what do you do and she's like oh yeah i'm a stripper so i'm like oh okay so she started laughing so i thought she was joking but when i went to ask again you know it turns out that she was in fact a stripper so you know i love for a lot of you guys like you wouldn't have an issue with that I know my friend, he was like, oh man, that could be a really good time, but not exactly what I'm looking for in a woman. So I ended up actually giving her my number and then she texted me right then and there on the spot. So I had hers, but I never actually reached out to her and that was kind of that. But to kind of illustrate, she gave me that strong eye contact. So, you know, that was a sign. And who knows, she may have came right outside right after we had left because, you know, it wasn't long after at all you know, when we walked out that she ended up walking out with her friend as well. So she could have been doing that as well, which is a signal of proximity. So these are definitely some of the things that you wanna be keen on in terms of choosing signals. And you know, when you get keen on these signs where you're able to spot things really quickly and kind of cashing in on those opportunities to create lasting experiences. So definitely something for y'all to think about. But anyway, with that, I'm gonna wrap this one up. If you do have any questions for me, definitely feel free to give a shout. Definitely make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. And definitely let me know, you know, have you ever experienced any choosing signals? Are there any 
great moments that may have came out of that, definitely let us know down below. And also make sure you check out the Gentleman and Scholars Ultimate Handbook. This is a handbook that goes over dating style and personal development tips to 10 extra personal growth. So I'll highly encourage you to check that out. Another thing that it does as well is it helps you to overcome some of those insecurities, some of those you know mindset uh, blockers or things that might be holding you back in your own personal life. So if you're struggling with those things, I highly encourage you to check out the Gentleman and Scholars Ultimate Handbook on the Gentleman and Scholars club.com or gentleman and scholars club website so you can go ahead and check that out there and you can get it for free the free ebook all you have to do is enter your name and email and it downloads right then and there so anyway with that i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this on up but you know until next time gentlemen and scholars hey gents hope you enjoyed the video and check out the gentlemen and scholars club website for our free Gentlemen and Scholars Ultimate Handbook, free resources, book recommendations, consultation services, and some pretty slick Gentlemen and Scholars merch. GNS hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, and so much more. Until next time, Gentlemen and Scholars. Hey gents, if you enjoyed this video, check out some bespoke video recommendations here and here and subscribe to join the Gentlemen and Scholars Club.